We are looking at a Hyosung 2003 SF50 Prima CVT area. And one of the things that they don't tell you, or you're not going to find this until you get to the uh, service manual, is that this nut right here, zoom in on that, is actually a reverse nut. And if you can see really closely, I have a washer behind there. And the reason is, is because I didn't know that it was a reverse nut. Everything on here is millimeter, and that's the only reverse nut on this whole machine. But what happens is if, if you try to take it off uh, using standard, uh, taking it off like the right way, <laughs> um, you'll actually end up stripping out some of the threads on there. And so what I had to do is I went to my local hardware store after I've sent numerous emails to Hyosung dealers, um, called all the scooter shops in my area, started calling all the hardware shops in my area. None of them have reversed nuts. Um, so what I did is I went to my hardware store and I got a um, washer, put that in, because once I had over tightened this, it wrecked some of the threads so I couldn't get it snug in there. And then I was thinking, well, maybe I should do some Loctite. Um, and as you can see, I have some fins broken off on here. but. Anyways, back to the Loctite. I didn't use it. I just put the washer in there and it got snug in there. This is a little bit more tighter than normal. Um, I have not put the cover back on and see if the kickstart works because the electric uh, start works. But I guess I want to just share that with you guys is that um, the reverse nut, I believe that's 50 or 60 bucks. Um, I don't know how much it is to have it machined or to have someone recreate it, but it was just lucky that I went and got a, a washer for that. Um, and I'll make another video because I have to switch out the rollers in there. I did have, um, yeah, what is it, five um, three gram rollers in there. And what I did is I actually took out two of them because they were so warped. Um, I'm waiting on them right now in the in the mail but so there's three rollers in there and usually if you have five in there um, you just start out kind of sluggish and tuning one of these is you also have your carburetor here you've got your idle screw or whatever um, but this really has a lot of play in your uh, gearing and whatnot and as you can see, I have the black line here, so my belt is not riding all the way up there like I want it to be. Um, this one actually goes about 40. Um, there's a restrictor on here on the CDI box, and it's a black and white cable. And I just took it out. So otherwise I was topping out at 30, and um, it wouldn't go any faster than that. So I got lucky, and... Um, figured that out but anyways so <sighs> I'm just glad it's working because otherwise that'd be SOL and when you like to ride you don't want to be rideless so anyways hope you all enjoyed it thank you